icing sugar. And how come it's so light and powdery? Is it like normal sugar? Is it like granulated sugar, just really, really fine? I couldn't tell you that, sir. What do they put in it to make it so that light and fluffy so it's like, it's like flour? It must be a different kind of sugar plant, maybe, or something. I honestly couldn't see. <sighs> Ta-da. Uh... To get to the bottom of this confectionery conundrum, I'm in London to meet cake maker to the stars, Peggy Portion. Hi, Peggy. Hi, nice Peggy. to meet you. you. Her designs are in high demand, with some cakes fetching thousands of pounds. Her fans include Elton John, Kate Moss and Madonna, and icing sugar is one of the main tools of her trade. Look at these. I mean, this is just incredible, isn't it? Yeah, they're made of icing sugar, essentially. Um... That just looks like a real rose. What exactly is icing sugar? Well, I think sugar is actually sugar dust. It comes from granulated sugar, is what I think sugar is made from. You just simply make it by grinding it down. Uh, it all comes from this? Yeah. So icing sugar is just ground sugar. There are even different types depending on what you need to use it for. But if you feel now this one in comparison, can you feel how much softer and finer oh. this one is? The other thing that's added to them is um, an anti-caking agent because, you know, it's, it's a free-flow agent that prevents the sugar bits from clumping together. Anti-caking agents work by absorbing moisture, which stops the sugar crystals sticking together. Uh, this one is made with uh, tricalcium phosphate and it feels a lot lighter. Tricalcium phosphate? What is that? I'm not really sure what it is, to be honest. And so, to find out, we're heading into the heart of the arid Negev desert. This is the phosphate mine where we start the process of producing TCP. So, uh, phosphate is an ingredient in TCP? Yeah. You want to see? Yeah. Let's go. When did you start mining phosphate here? In uh, 1952. And we started to produce fertilizer and food material. Now we're talking about one million ton per year of fertilizer. Incredible. And phosphoric acid that we use for TCP. This is a vast operation, but where is our mystery ingredient, tricalcium phosphate, or TCP? Nice to meet you. Me too. I've come to speak to company geologist Uri Yasur. We are in the middle of an old sea, and uh, after millions of, of years, uh, this area began to be a desert, but the remains of a lot of animals used to live in this sea stayed here, and uh, this is the phosphate that we mine here. This mine was once below sea level, and the phosphate comes from the remains of the creatures that lived here. So where exactly is the phosphate? Can you Actually, see Kate, if you look back, you can see those layers that go in up and down. All these white layers is all phosphate. And, and phosphate is a mineral that we need every day. Yeah, it's essential for us. Without it, we cannot uh, live. Phosphate is the key ingredient in TCP. In icing sugar, TCP works by absorbing moisture from the air, preventing the sugar crystals from sticking together. We dig it out of the ground, then it goes to our plants, and we make uh, tree calcium phosphate. Which then ends up in icing sugar. Yeah, which... Uh, Bizarrely, <laughs> I find it absolutely bonkers that the remains of animals is basically dusted on my Victoria yeah, sponge. It's... One kilogram of icing sugar can contain two to three teaspoons of TCP. There's no organic matter left, so it's fine for veggies. But getting it out of the mountain takes some doing. This is the biggest machine I've ever seen in my life! Yeah, quite big. Do you want to try to drive it? <laughs> I can drive it. Let's go. And they're actually going to let me loose on it. OK, right. Forward, go down. Now to scoop. Little more, little more. Now you're starting to grab a... Uh... Oh, we're beginning to scoop. Right. This is my first scoop. Oh, my word! Look at that. And go forward, and you throw what you pick. There we go. What's wrong? Would you give me a job? No, not yet. You have to practice a bit. 